So adventurers and welcome to the club. In today's video I will show you how to modify the little alcohol stove I have made in a previous video. Let's call it version 2.0. And there we go. This is how it looks when it is assembled. Today I will just modify my existing stove. So if you wanna see how to make the little container from the spray foam can, I encourage you to watch the original video. Link is in the description. Now let's modify it. And so the hole is done. <laughs> Gotta clean it up a bit, but then it seems to be perfect. So now we have a large hole in the top. Next thing we do is we take a bit of fabric. Just like this one here. Let's cut a square out of it. Roughly a square. Then we need some kitchen paper, because <laughs> this stuff is an excellent wick. <laughs> what we are doing now is we are filling the little stove with the kitchen paper. <laughs> yeah. Take now one piece of it and wrap it in the fabric, just like this. And then we are stuffing it through this little hole. Let's give it a little twist to make it stay together. Through this little hole into the stove. So, once you got this fabric in, it should look like this. It's a purely cosmetic thing. And now we're taking our little bike cycle spoke part, screwing the bike cycle spoke in, and then we can put it in here. We can do this all around. Very important here is the, that your holes are opposite to each other, which they are, because I have made it this way. <laughs> and now we have to bend the spoke over to the other spoke. You can do it with your hands just like this. Now they should all look like this. So now they slot in here and in here. If one sticks up a bit too much, it just bend it. So once they are good enough aligned it should look like this. And now we gotta bend them so they connect. So now we got to cut them. So now we got them all shortened out. <laughs> So, once bent, it should look like this. And it will slot into the oven like this. And so, now it is finished. This is the oven and that's our pot stands. We just slot them in like this. And then you can place a large pot or pan on this.
Hey, I'm here in this mountain bike infested forest with, well, if you happen to hear children, it's because there are children. So today I want to show you the contents of my little cook kit. First of all, I've got a tea bag, some ramen noodles. I'll put this aside. And now we go to the actual kit. And this thing here. Here we have the fuel. Set this by side and show you how this gets assembled. We got a spoon. And this figure. So now let's set it up right here. This goes here, and so it doesn't tip over. We got those here. They're just just push them in and they should just hang on to this that's for if you set it up on the ground don't need them now and then we got those here this goes up They all go in like this. Once they are all in it's self stabilizing. And then we need the cup. The cup works like this. We put them in here, slide it through and hook it in. Just like this. So now Clean, add some water. Now we add the fuel. We light it. Yeah, and it is burning now, but you can't see it. Very clear flame. So. 
so this is starting fixable and here you can see the flames a bit hard to see so now take the camera down Now let's put in our tree back. So now let me show you. I have your matches, tissue, spoon, fuel, some ramen noodle. You just put them in hot water and eat them. A lighter for makeup. To the matches. Those two metal things. An old match I take with me. The cup. Yeah, this is version 2.0. Still burning. I didn't use up all the fuel and the amount of burn time and heat output is highly dependent on the kind of fuel you use. We can also cover this with tin foil so it lasts longer. But yeah, and always keep some water ready in case you light the forest on fire. <laughs> Smoky the bear happy. So adding a windshade really helps. So once you decided it's hot enough, you just be able to blow it out and enjoy your cup of tea. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this version 2.0 of my DIY alcohol camping stove made from an old spray cream can. <laughs> it worked really well but I have to recommend you to use a windshade because high winds are really blowing the flame away from the pot and therefore increasing the burn time. <laughs> yeah, if you have enjoyed this video 
all, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time here at the Adventures Club. Ha, 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 ha.